and I want to share with you a number of ways that we could hold the putter and and because it's the, of course the only contact we got with the golf club it is vital and it has an effect on how the putter is released where we're striking it from the biggest thing is finding something that is comfortable to you and I've set up also here a string line and for me when you're trialing out different methods use something like this. Now all you need is two tent pegs and a bit of string and look can you start the ball on line because the three real skills in putting one is green reading one is pace control, and the third one, and a vital one, is starting the ball on your intended start line. So I'm intending to start this ball four inches to the right of the right lip to get this ball to, rend, uh, to bend in from right to left. That's how I've read it. And so one, I can test out my green skill ability. Two, I can see am I rolling at the right pace because if I hit it on that line but too quick, it's gonna miss on the high side. If I hit it on that line at underweight, it's gonna finish up short and low. And also I'm seeing, can I control the start line? And that's what the grip is for. So the, how we hold the putter is really to control the club face, okay? So I use quite a traditional putting grip. I use a reverse overlap grip where my lead hand that's closest to the target is on the top, my trail hand is on the bottom, there is a connection between the hands. And the reverse overlap grip is just our little, sorry, our index finger of our lead hand covers the fingers of our trail hand. Now, what I do try and make sure when I'm holding a putter, and I would encourage this, whichever grip style you go for, you try and get the club much more up in your palms rather than down in the fingers. Okay, so more up in the palm. It means it's a slightly looser grip. You would probably see here with my trail hand that I'm gonna actually have a little bit of a gap from my fingers to the club here. So I'm gonna encourage that to be a very soft, a very light grip. So my reverse overlap grip would look something like this. My thumbs are either down the center or slightly turned outwards. The club is more up in my palm and there is a connection between my hands. Let me just go ahead and roll one quickly. Managed to knock that one in. It was, um, if anything, it started just a touch under the line, but pretty good there. Now, different grip styles, what could we actually go for when we're putting? A really good option is actually a left below right grip. So for, that's, that's for a right-handed player. So actually we're taking our lead hand that's closest to the target and we're putting it on the bottom. And a couple of benefits that has, it gets my shoulders closer to level. It sets a little bit more pressure onto my lead side here. So I really like in putting to see 65, 70% of our pressure onto our lead foot at setup and I'd like it to stay there. I don't really want to see a shift of pressure. So I like that to be forwards. I like my hands to be slightly forward so I'm de-lofting the club. And what I find with a lot of golfers who perhaps don't start with enough pressure forwards or don't start with their hands forwards is they're perhaps trying to hit up on the ball and striking a lot out the bottom of the head and we often see them adding loft to the putter as well. So this style with the lead hand below the trail hand here can set that pressure forwards, can set my hands forwards. It would definitely take some getting used to if you haven't tried it before but again tried under the string line so I, I try and get a very palmy grip still the same but I'm actually setting my lead hand below my trail hand and this is a great style of grip to use and I would say if you've never oh if you've never tried golf before it's actually a good grip to start with um, it feels uncomfortable to me because I've gripped the putter right below left for so long, but actually going the other way, left below right, can have some such benefits Then, if you don't know any better, you know, neither are going to feel comfortable to you. It's got a real good indication. So if you're new to the game, left below right is a great option. Now, you'll see when you watch the PGA Tour or the European Tour, 101 different styles of putting grips. So there is no right and wrong here. It's finding one that you can hit the ball at the right pace, control the start line, let me drag that ball back. And, and there are, as I said, a number of different options. A very popular one, um, now or has gone through a period is more of a claw grip you're starting to see more and more of so they take their trail hand and they place it at the bottom and it's very good for someone who's struggled with perhaps the yips so an involuntary hand action almost try that right hand it tends to be the the lead uh, sorry the trail hand getting a little bit too aggressive through impact and we can see all sorts of things i've seen people even miss the top of the ball from there so the idea with this claw grip there's a few different ways of doing it for me i'd set my thumb 
at the back of the grip, my two fingers in front of the grip here, and we're almost trying to keep our arm in this sort of motion rocking towards the target. So it's, it's a pretty good grip to try and keep that putter straight for longer. Give it a whirl, you know, again, see what's right for you. So there's gonna be a set gap between our lead hand and our trail hand. We're setting into a claw grip here. It's very good for someone who's really struggled with their putting with the yips because it just feels so different and that's the biggest thing to try and do. So elbow is definitely out and you try and feel like the hand, the arm just pushes towards the target. Definitely pulled that one. I didn't start that as, as well online, but obviously you want to hit more than one. You want to hit a few putts of that and just see how good you are at controlling that club face position. That tells me my club face is closed. If I was doing that consistently and struggling from that, then that may not be a grip for me. So this is the way to test it out. Whether it's at home or on the putting green, you can always tie the string line between two coffee mug handles, couldn't you? Uh, I've just got it here obviously with some, some canes in the ground here, some, uh, some rods just to try and work on my start line but the claw grip it feels very uncomfortable to me but it can work well if you've had someone who's too aggressive with that right hand over the left hand i see the odd few golfers i'm going through a lot of grips here i see a lot of few golfers with what we call a baseball grip so the hands very separate um, personally I, I don't like that as much because i would worry that the, tr the the trail hand here my right hand would get a little bit too active but it can work to help me close the club face so if you're consistently pushing that ball out to the right having the hand separate can really help that right hand for a right-handed golfer just actually release the putter a little bit more so the hands are separate on the grip here for me, I struggle with the feeling of controlling that putter. It shouldn't have dropped in, but it did from the low side there. I struggle with controlling that face when I'm holding that way around. But if you've, as a, someone who's been pushing the ball consistently, it may be a grip style you can try. The last one I'm just gonna run through, and the important thing to take away from today's video and today's lesson, is test it. Find what's best for you by working on your start line, your pace control, and your strike location. Because if you can control those, I don't care which way you grip it. So the last one I'm gonna go through, and you would need a longer putter like this with a larger grip, is almost an anchored grip. Now we're actually not allowed to anchor the putter in terms of holding it in, but actually you'll see a number of players like a, a Matt Kuchar style or Bryson DeChambeau where that putter is actually in contact with a lead arm that's closest to the target. I'm not allowed to hold it in place but I'm allowed to push it against that forearm and try and keep it there. So you'd need to start with a longer putter because I'm having to grip it lower down the handle and it's in contact with my lead forearm. For me this can work quite well on very short putts or very quick greens. I struggle making a long enough stroke if it's a long putt with this style because I'm feeling like the putter has to work so far off the ball because there is absolutely no wrist action. Again it's worth trying if you are playing on very quick greens it may be a style you want to use. So it's anchored against my lead arm but I'm obviously not holding it in place. Let's just give this last putting grip a go. Just tended to start a little left to target. The one to watch out for when you're changing your putting style. For me, when I'm holding that, it feels like my shoulders are a little bit pointing out to the right, slightly closed. So you might have to make some compensations, some alterations at setup to try and set yourself correct. That's a better putt. So actually more in anchored with that lead arm is a very, very different style. And obviously you see Bryson doing extremely well, putting fantastically. So these things can work. It's about testing, trialing, and finding what's comfortable for you. As I said there at the start, the key points are green reading, pace control, and starting the ball on line. So putter grip is about starting the ball on line, about the strike location. So test it, trial it, see what's best for you. If you've got no preference either way, if you're new to the game, the left hand below right for right-handed golfer has some real benefits in terms of leveling the shoulders, pressure onto that lead side, but trial them, see what's best for you. 